Hello guys, welcome back to Over Mechanics. Today we are going to show you how to replace the valve cover gasket on a BMW X3. This one is a 3.0 it's engine. It will be the same for the 2.5 and the 6 cylinders as whole. Well. So this is the gasket right here, made in Germany. Make sure we use good quality gasket. In the past we used Chinese made one really cheap and we service many BMWs and they start leaking. So get the whole kit, the gasket and this is the one for the spark plug seals and the seals for the bolt. That thing brand new, free delivery. It cost us about $35 on eBay. You can see it's its original part. And this is the valve cover O-rings. As you can see this one is uh, leaking, started leaking pretty bad and it gets on the exhaust right here and you can smell it inside the cabin because that leaking oil is getting on that hot exhaust. Okay, you can see right there on the plates and that's oil and you smell it inside even it starts smoking when you first start if you haven't driven the car for a couple of days so now we're going to show you how to do that the proper way stay with us guys don't forget to watch until the end to make sure you do everything right and subscribe we upload about new video every day okay guys now we're going to show you how to do it some people Remove that cross member piece right here and the cabin air filler housing for more room But you don't have to do that. Don't do extra work unless you have to And uh, it's it's pretty simple. It, it shouldn't take you more than 30 minutes to 45 minutes to do it yourself Okay, now we have two lids that we need to remove with a flathead screwdriver Just hold them not to lose them one there and one in the back right there and those are not hard to remove and then two more on the valve cap but we need to remove the other two that we already did for the fuel injectors okay right there and now you need to remove the oil cap but make sure you don't drop anything inside of it because if you do it might go down the engine they have the cover but just in case and now with a 10 millimeter socket we need to remove this and this bolt okay pretty simple on the back you can use a small ratchet and just a socket so you have more room to do it 10 millimeter socket there okay we removed one of the bolts and now the second one here is done and what you need to do just pull it to the left and pull it out of there and that's where your fuel injectors are located in the fuel rail if you need to do some work as well now we need to remove these two one here and the one in the back Okay, we're removing the second nut on this, the valve cover right here, they, they, those are two nuts and the other ones are two bolts that we already did. Now you just pull up and you pull it out of there and that's where your ignition coils are located as well. Okay, what you need to do next, you need to remove the, uh, the ignition coils and it's six of them, pretty simple, we'll demonstrate on one of them but it's the same for all six of them. Okay, so you just pull, pull out like that, pull up, the cable comes out and then you grab the ignition coil and pull. They're stuck pretty good, so you need to do all six of them that way. Okay, getting the last six one out of the way. Now we have two ground wires that you need to remove, one right there on, the, on cylinder number three and one on there between four and five. You can see in the other one is between 2 and 3, so with a 10 millimeter, well actually 8, with the 8, oh, those are with 8 millimeter removed, those two nuts, and uh, make sure you don't lose the nuts, they're a little bit in, you just pull the ground wire out of there, and do not install the nut back on, because we will be removing these bolts as well. Okay, the second one is almost there, as you can see. Okay. Okay, now we need a flathead screwdriver and you have a few clips holding the ignition wires to the valve cover so you need to just pry them up. Okay, like that, make sure you don't break them, don't apply too much pressure and you pull them out. Okay, as you can see the wire is in the way but it's okay, just leave it here like that. Okay, now, uh, now we have the two oxygen sensors, you pull up like that, you need to pull them out, you don't need to remove them from the exhaust or anything like that you just need to pull them and right here it's hard to show there is one groove where it goes a clip uh, to the valve cover gasket because uh, we need to unhook them and 
uh, also on the back as well. And now you can see they're free, free wires now, so they're not in the way. Okay, now we need to squeeze that vacuum hose right here, press down on up and downside you can see and pull. Those tend to get stuck, so be, be very careful not to break them. Do not push it all the way, just like that, because otherwise you're gonna break them and it's a pain in the butt to replace those. And when you install it, apply a little bit of oil on that O-ring so it can slide it. So, so now we need to remove the all together 15 bolts, four are in the middle right here where the ignition coils are. So you see this one, this, and uh, one more here and one in the bottom. So you need to remove all four of those first. Okay, like that. And you just pull it out. That's the second one. And the third and the fourth you need to use a ratchet. Okay, we removed all four and now you need to go right here and remove, you have 15 bolts, uh, I mean, uh, we have all together 15, so 11 right now left. And uh, you just have one, two, three, four, five right there. And on the downside you have five and here you have one. And you can see when you pull them like that, they're like nuts, they kind of like go in the boat right there. And those are the seals that we'll be replacing as well, but leave them on now, you don't need to pull them out. So all together, 11 bolts on the outside and 4 on the ins inside and remove all those. Okay, we remove all 15 nuts. So now, right here with a flathead screwdriver, just pry it a little bit, but don't put too much pressure. Because you might crack the valve cover if you apply too much pressure, you're going to hear it releasing. It's it's pretty much stuck if it hasn't been removed for a while. Okay, you can hear it. Okay, and now it's loose and you just, uh, you need to lift it up, make sure that you don't drop anything inside your engine while you're doing that because it might be critical, you might not be able to get it out without more assembles, uh, disassembly. Okay, right here you can see that's a valve cover gasket and it's still stuck to the to the cylinder head right there okay and now it should come right out of there that's the valve cover guys right here okay guys and you can see you even have a little pieces right here you, that's why you always need to make sure you get the one with the with the spark plug seals and as you can see right there how bad that thing was leaking here it wasn't but there it was pretty bad and that's the engine with 170,000 miles on it, guys. See how good that thing looks with, regu with regular oil changes. So that thing, it has no flexibility at all. That's the old one. So now in, in order to remove it, you need to use the screwdriver like that. And you need to pull it out of the groove. Sometimes it even will break like that. I was just about to say it and it happened because it's so old. In, the rubber is like plastic now, no flexibility and all, and that's what's causing your seals because plastic cannot seal, rubber does, but plastic doesn't. Okay, it's the original one, BMW even right here, you can see the BMW stamp on the side of it. And you pull it all the way around and it comes out of there. Make sure that you don't have any pieces inside the groove. Go around and check everything. Okay. Right there, that's the old one. Okay, now you need to go and remove the uh, the spark plug seals right here, the holes for the spark plugs. And those are the ones that burn terribly bad. You can see that thing is cracking. And you need to go all the way and remove all six of them. Be careful not to damage any parts. Okay, you can see that thing, it just shot. Okay, do you hear that? That's plastic and it's supposed to be rubber, but it's baked from all the temperature and being a high mileage car. Okay guys, stay with us to see what you need to do properly to avoid leaks with the new gasket. What you need to do first, you need to wipe the whole cylinder head right here where the gasket is contacting and wipe it good, make sure you don't have uh, oil deposits or anything like that. So it needs to be nice, clean and shiny, not oily and covered with grease. And also wipe the one in the middle where you have the spark plug holes, right there. 
now a critical part not very many people tell you about that but right here you can see where the timing cover is and the cylinder head uh, the, where the two meet together and on the bottom right there okay you need to uh, apply a little bit of silicone just a little drop because the new gasket no matter how flexible it is it might leak out of there because there is a little groove you can feel it with your nail and even if you have a new gasket you might experience leak so always do that just apply a little bit of silicone right there and now you need to remove all the bolt seals if you purchase the one with the 15 bolt seal kit and just push the new one in because those are very good to to replace otherwise you might be leaking oil again okay now you just start installing the new components right there you start pushing it down just in the groove make sure everything lines up all the holes and then you need to get the gasket for the outside as well and now the the gasket itself you just push it all the way in the groove make sure that everything lines up good and it's pretty simple now it's a good thing if you keep the uh, the bolt the like kind of like the nut seals on the top not on the valve cover because uh, they're loose and they might fall in the engine so what you need to do now just get the valve cover and install it you need to make sure everything goes good just don't push anything make sure it, it goes right in where it's supposed to be okay like that you can you can feel it when everything lines up and now we get the new seals you push them on the covers like that on the bolts you can see it's some kind of mixture between that and a bolt it's pretty long and you do all 15 of them like that we start with the inside ones make sure that they line up okay you can see on the inside remember it was four of them like that okay we got all of them on and what you need to do now you need to start getting them tied in a cross pattern so you need to start on one side right here and then you go all the way in the other corner you can see how it's compressing the gasket that's a good sign okay like that now we need to go to the very back one right there and just get that one tight as well then after that you need to go to the one right here the one in the back the middle ones and all other ones so make sure make sure you get all of them tied thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe you just put it back together the same way you took it apart hopefully the videos was helpful and give us a like